Four kids. She wanted four kids. She got one, me. Told me I could have been the youngest if he didn't deprive her. If he didn't tell her that she didn't deserve a child because she would never be a good enough Muslim mother. Mm. Because she would never be a good enough mother, period. Mm. She would tell me how she wanted a son. How she wanted me to have a brother. Then she turned to me, pain vulnerable in her eyes, and she said she was sorry. Sorry that I had no one to come for me and the solace of their screams, no one to play with when I was a child, no one to keep my secrets and protect my lies. Hmm. No one to love. She cried as she said this. Then she asked me if I was lonely. I didn't tell her that my heart felt hollow and my mind empty. Instead, I turned to her and said, No, I have you, Mom. We shared a smile, both knowing she could see through my deception. She could see the emptiness behind my eyes. Sometimes when the loneliness haunted the darkness, I tried to convince myself it was a good thing she didn't have any more. After all, she almost died when she had me, told me my eyes were the only thing that brought her back to me. It was on those nights where the family of three would sit around a table in silence, that I saw her eyes wander to the vacant chairs. On the nights when music couldn't save me from the war below, I just wanted someone to hold me among their fingers through my hair, telling me it was okay. I had no one there. Maybe that was why I was so lost in myself. I was carrying the caskets of my unborn siblings inside me. Multiple personalities are a disorder, but as my family. I was her home and I had none. Her eyes were the grave, my mind, the bones. Maybe he would have been her luck, and she would have been her happiness. I was the sorrow, the murderer of their tomorrows. I wanted to tell her it wasn't her fault. It was mine. That maybe if I had been a better child, my father would see that heaven lay under her feet. Sometimes I have nightmares when they're gone. Who will I have left? Mm. No one. I would be the only child left to fend for herself. They say your family is your biggest source of strength when undergoing a death, but what do you do when you have no family left? I'm sorry, Mom, for depriving me of your one source of happiness. I'm sorry for being a disappointing child to father. Maybe if I had been what you hoped in, you would have had the rest of your family. Mm. It was there in the darkness that I saw them hanging from the stars, dead and lifeless. And it was there that I realized she hadn't been looking up to their smiling eyes. She had been looking at their necks, hanging from the nooses she thought she'd hide. I squeezed her hand and whispered, don't worry, Mom. 